Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Welcome back to chapter 10. So, in this video, we are going to solve and interpret coefficient of correlation and coefficient of determination. Just before we start, please watch and learn from any of these videos how to use your calculator for this chapter. You may press the link in the description box below. If you're already done, please continue learning this lesson. Example 1. The following data indicates the level of sales for 10 models of pens sold by a particular company. The sales together with the selling price of pen are given below. Evaluate A. Coefficient of Correlation B. Coefficient of Determination Correct to four decimal places and interpret your answer with reference to the data supplied. From the data, there are 10 models of pens means there are 10 paired observations. So, N is 10. Using your calculator, list out all the summations. There are five summations to list out. Let's find coefficient of correlation. Using this formula, substitute N and summations. And our R is negative 0 0.8246 correct to four decimal places. Now let's interpret R. Based on this statement, we know that X and Y are price and sales. Therefore, price and sales has strong negative linear correlation. In another word, selling cheaper pen will increase the level of sales. This is an example of inverse relationship. B. Let's find coefficient of determinations. All you have to do is to square your R. So, square negative 0 0.8246 is 0 0.6800 correct to 4 decimal places. Now, let's interpret coefficient of determination. Previously, the value of R squared is 0 0.6800. Let's change it into percentage, then it's going to be 68% of the total variation in Y, which is sales, is explained by the variation in X, which is price, 100 minus R squared percent, which is 100 minus 68 is 32% of the total variation in sales, is explained by other factors. Example 2, the following tables shows the annual profit obtained by 8 small industries for a particular state versus the amount invested. Calculate coefficient of determination, correct to 4 decimal places and interpret. Eight small industry means our N is 8. List out all the summations from your calculators. Substitute N and all the summation into the formula of coefficient of determination. And R squared is 0 0.9096 correct to 4 decimal places. Now let's interpret coefficient of determinations. 90.96% of the total variation in profit is explained by the variation in investment. 9.04% of the total variation in profit is explained by other factors. Just before we end our lesson today, 
please do this exercise.